Here we are in section 2 with the review 1, chapter 2 with the first review, numbers 24 through 28. Here we have 7 thirds t minus 8 equals 4 plus 7 t. Uh, no parentheses to get rid of, so I'm going to get rid of those fractions first. That's the first thing we can do. Times everything by 3 as that least common denominator, and we get 7t minus 24 equals 12 plus 21t. Mm, now we've got to get these two t's together. So if we subtract 7t and subtract 7t from both sides of the equal sign, we get negative 24 equals 12 plus 14t. Um, now we take and uh, subtract 12 over here, and we get negative 36 equals 14t. Divide both sides by 14, t equals negative 36 over 14. That equals negative 18 over 7. Good. Number 25. Ooh, we've got to get rid of those parentheses first, so let's jump the parentheses in. So we had negative 3 sevenths m plus 36 sevenths equals 3m plus 6. Now we can get rid of those uh, pesky fractions there. Uh, multiply through, let me see, we have 7s and 1s over here, so 7 is the least common denominator. Times everything by 7 on both sides of the equation, we get negative 3m, that goes, it's gone, negative 3m plus 36, because those guys are gone, equals 7 times 3 is 21m, plus 42. Alright, let's get those m's together. It looks like it'll be nice to get rid of this one. Add 3m on this side and add 3m on that side and we get 36 equals 24m plus 42. Uh, subtract 42 over here, 24m equals negative 6 and then divide both sides by 24 and that reduces down to negative one-fourth. Good, that's what m equals. Number 26. No parentheses, so we can just go through and multiply through to get rid of these, these denominators. Here we have a 6 and an 8. So we can just multiply through by something that will get rid of a 6 and an 8. Let me see, least common denominator of a 6 and an 8, we could do 48. But I think there's a little bit nicer one in 24. 24 will knock them both out, I think. 24 times 24. And let's see what we get when we do it. 24 times 5, 6. You can either run that through your calculator or see that that will cancel with that and leave a 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Or 24 times 5, 6 will give you 20. Minus, that's 192 equals... Um, 7 times 24 is 168 plus, and then 24 times 7 eighths. I think we'll get a 21 on that one. Or you can see that, that'll knock that out and leave a 3. And that's why we times 3 by 24. Look at that, no fractions at all. Get Try to get these two x's together. So we subtract 20x minus 20x over here, and we're left with 1x plus 168 equals negative 192. Wow. So subtract 168, subtract 168, and we get x equals, that's negative 360. Good. Number 27. First take care of the parentheses, jump that through, and we get negative 0.26x plus 0.26 equals 0.05x plus 7. Um, as I'm looking at, we can, we can add and subtract these, but I'd like to get rid of those decimals if I can. That that just looks a little bit skiwampus to me. Um, so I'm going to times everything by 100 to move it two decimal places. So if we times by 100 here, we get negative 26x plus 26 equals, move it two places there, that's 5x plus 700. So we just times everything by 100. Now get the x's together. I'm going to add 26x to both sides. So we get 26 equals 31x plus 700. Um, yeah, let's write that in there, what we did. Plus 26x plus 26x. Okay, good. 
Now subtract 700 and we get 31x equals negative 674. And divide by 31, divide by 31, and we get x equals negative 674 over 31. And if we punch that into a calculator, we get a negative 21.74, and then it keeps going. So there we go. Number 28. Here we have some fractions to deal with. Uh, we've got a 4 and a 10. Now this is set up so that if you wanted to do your cross multiplication, take 4 times this up here or, and 10 times that up there, you'll get the right answer. That's certainly a legitimate thing to do. However, I'm, I'm thinking that we could do a smaller thing like times both sides by 20. Now watch what happens when we times both sides by 20. This 20 divided by 4 becomes a 5, so we're actually times this by 5 up here. 20 divided by 10, that gives us a 2. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Now when we distribute the 5, we have 5x minus 35 equals 10x plus 6. Subtract 5x over here. Subtract 6 over there, and we get 5x equals negative 41. Divide by 5, and we get x equals a negative 41 fifths. There we go. Good.